Welcome, thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. The Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boog. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in, and I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit, not where you want to be. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One down, and stepping in is the speedy Jalen Miller. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a bouncer. Hernandez gloves it, slings it across, oh. score at 5-3 for the second out with the that third baseman perfect. shifted over the there. Here's Austin Riley. Hey, plays at first, plays at first. Olsen stands at second with two gone. Out to short. Rogers picks it up. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Braves one, and the Nationals nothing. Bottom half of inning number two, and now the shortstop, Steve Rogers. Great speed and the great shortstop. power, a great speed. athlete, hey, quite simply. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. And that one finds its way through. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Luis Garcia. And he deals. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Close play, but in there. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. The one-two. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of... Got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. One out and a runner at second. Bounced up the middle. Fires over to first. Two away down. Batting none. The first baseman, Josh Van Meter. Here's Josh Van Meter. Hey, get a good one. Hey, here we go. Come on now. One Rudder time. breaks for third. Pitch is low. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Steve Rogers now at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Let's go. Hey, get your pitch and drive it. Foul ball. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and 
you know, close holes that, you know, are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. That one misses. Now one and two. Swing and a base hit. Hey, way to drive that one. Nice rip. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Left hand batter waits. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Safe at second. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. That's Next ball. pitch misses. Ball three. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The center fielder, number 24, Greg Allen. All right, one time, right here. Foul ball there. Rogers, the lead runner at second. Garcia on at first with two now. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Two on, two outs. This one popped up. And that is that. So the Nats leave a pair. They're down 4 nothing. One out, base is empty. Steve Rogers digging in for the Nationals. Pretty amazing athlete Steve. this guy is. Power hey, and here. speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Uh, nice drive. Line drive, base hit. Nice hit, big guy. Out of board. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the now barrel back. right to it. Second nice basement. extension as well. Holy 105 God. exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Checks over to first. Back safely. See it up. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Stepping in, Luis Garcia. In the air, right field. Ozuna gliding as he moves to his left. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Fielder, number 24. Greg. And at first, here's Allen. Greg Allen. Soroka throw no, over. And he's back in safely. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Steel. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. Righty delivers. Rips that one to right. Ozuna makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nationals leave one. They trail it here, 4 nothing. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. Now batting, third baseman. And Austin a pitch. Riley. Knocks it down. The two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So, in it. So, digging in, Steve Rogers. You talk about the power and the speed together. 
Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. That one blasted deep to right, way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends it out of here, and they cut into the deficit. It's 4-1. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time. And Dansby Swanson will hit next for the fourth time tonight. Number seven, shortstop, Dansby Swanson. This ball's chopped on the ground. And no throw. He's into first easily. Well, one of the goals in the postseason is to split on the road and play very well at home. They did just that with the win today, even it up at one and one. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.